Folks, we are out here with something that is very, very sentimental to me. This, if you're a rocketry nerd, you know what this is. If you're not, you have never seen this other than, look at it, it is so, so sleek, so very cool. And that is what I thought when I saw this airplane uh, as a set of plans in a magazine uh, about 25 years ago. It's, uh, I was very young when I saw this. I had uh, retrieved my dad's rocketry stuff from the attic that had been hidden away for all that time and uh, opened up and was excited about rockets and then I found out that you could make airplanes fly on rocket power. As a kid that was just kind of rock your world type stuff. Um, and so this was the aircraft. This is the Sky Slash 2 by Larry Ringer. Now this is not the full size one. This is a 60% scale uh, Sky Slash 2. Uh, and all of the Sky Slash 2's that I have built have been half scale. I do have a full scale one that a friend of mine built for me um, when I was a kid. Um, his, uh, he and his wife hosted my family out at their place, I don't know how many times, launching rockets. And so the first rocket powered glider I ever saw fly was this design. Um, and it was lost very quickly. We flew it on an A-10-3T. It was the smallest engine we could get a hold of uh, at the time. And um, it made a bit of an impression on me. Sorry, Caleb's out there flying his one-sheet glider, having a blast with it. Um, great kid's airplane, apparently. Anyway, um, so yeah, I watched that thing circle off into the distance and uh, pretty much rocked my world, and I never looked back. So today, we are launching a, uh, this laser cut Sky Slash 2 on an Estes 1 4 A. And uh, this will be its maiden flight. I have trimmed it out a little bit. These tend to loop a little bit if you're not careful. I've spent some time trimming this, and so hopefully it won't loop too much. Um, but I've had some rather <laughs> entertaining flights with these over the years. If you don't do it right, you are going to mess it up, but good. Uh, but I've got a, about a degree and a half of down thrust in this and, uh, and whatnot, so hopefully it'll it'll go fairly well. And it's a 1 4th A, so it's not going to go super high anyway. Um, on an a 10 t these things go ballistically high. Uh, and the way I've got this one sanded down, it would probably shred. So, anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand this camera to Hope and let her turn, around, turn it around. And I'm going to show you some flight prep real quick. Um, I'll turn the viewfinder. There we go. Um, so this is a what they call an engine spitter. So you slide your loaded engine in here, and it just sits there. You want it fairly loose, uh, and then the uh, ejection charge just spits the engine out. Uh, not legal for NAR competition. You can use it at a lot of local launches, but you cannot use it in competition. You have to attach a streamer to that engine. Uh, and the problem is, most of these body tubes fit so tightly uh, that you can't put a streamer in there. I tried. Uh, with this one earlier did not work. So that's just something you have to bear in mind with these. Um, so you may you may find yourself restricted to sport flying with it and that's okay. It's just a it's a cool thing. It really is. Uh, so anyway, we're going to put this up there and, uh, and we're going to see how it goes. Alright, Caleb, can you come here? <laughs> Alright, my turn. Uh, shut this off so we can kind of clip this a little bit. Alright, Sky Slash 2 on an SS 14th A33T. Y'all ready? Okay. Alright, launching the Sky Slash 2 60% in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh man, it gets up there quick. And beautiful transition. That was the engine hitting. I don't know if you can even see this. Um, these things float. Man, do they float. Looks like I messed up some of my flight trim. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to get this one back, and that's okay because it's laser cut, so I can build another one. Oh, it is getting carried by the wind, something terrible. And. 
That's maybe the last we see of it. I know kind of where it went. Now that, that's what I'm talking about right there. So you can see we are <laughs> way far out in the boonies here. Here is the bird of the hour. Has a little ding right here. And that appears to be it. So, she lives to fly another day. Minimal scorching on the leading edge there of the stab. Nothing else looks good. So, uh, you'll notice I glue, I have messed up the CAD files and the stab is on the top of the boom. It's supposed to be on the bottom. Uh, anyway, arrow straight launch. Actually, that is the best launch I've ever had from one of these. Um, and as you can see, I mean, that was a 1 4th A and that thing got up there probably about uh, 150, 200 feet. I think it was 200. It was moving right along. Um, so yeah, nice little airplane to play around with. Uh, great for 1 4th A competition. Um, if you can fit the uh, streamer up there. Otherwise, just a good sport pl uh, flying plane. And um, fairly easy to trim. It flies good. Doesn't like wind too much as you saw there, but I mean, it, it, flew, it flew okay. So, um, yeah, just a, a good little airplane. Caleb, Caleb. What do you think? Yeah. You like I'm it? I'm too excited to walk it. Hi, okay. I'm too excited. Okay. Uh, so, free plans on our website and all that jazz uh, when this goes up. Um, and we may make a kit of it. We'll, we'll include that in the description when that comes. So, see ya.